then I'll make them spicy and I crush them. Okay. Now, remember guys, whenever you cook pasta, it's very important to have a big pot full of water. Mm -hmm. Often people make, make the mistake that they cook pasta and the pot is too little. Okay, make sure you've got a big pot of pasta, plenty of water in there, because what's going to happen instantly? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't put oil into the water, because the oil is not going to help the pasta not to stick. What is it going to help is the bollente motion. Yes. You know, you have this pasta, the, the water, you know the bollente thing, right? Yeah? All this bollente, all this bubble, right now, you imagine the pasta goes into the bubble, what's going to happen? Yeah, come on everybody, I think that. Right? So <laughs> this is how the pasta don't stick when it stays into the bubble and it doesn't touch each other. Fantastic. I'm Simple looking as forward that. to that. I'll come back and see you, Gino. We've learned all about pasta. Remember, it's all about the bloop, 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 bloop. There we are. Now, tell us okay, so blend that up, Tony. Put your finger on that. Give it a nice blend up. Mm -hmm. And then put it onto a plate for me, please. Now, you're cooking that. Is this the. Uh, this is what they, you're okay, talking so about? Okay, so this is Exactly mm, that. So what I've done that. is I've um, some uh, chopped onion. Yeah. Cook that down, add the white wine, reduce the white wine, as you saw, is a bit of a flame there yeah. going on. Caramelised off the, uh, the chicken We liked the fries. flames, didn't we? We enjoyed that. And, that um, was very nice, yeah. Then added some courgette. We've mm -hmm. got our tomatoes in there, some lovely cherry tomato. That's going to cook down nice and slowly. And you're boiling a couple of eggs? What's that? I'm going to deep fry an egg. Have you seen okay. deep fry an egg? Deep fried egg. I'm so looking forward to seeing We're going to peel it, uh, sorry, cook it yeah. for eight minutes, then peel it. Then we're going to put it in a bit of egg and milk into our breadcrumbs. Then we're going to deep fry it. And we're You've been serving, them. You've we're been gonna serve them. it with this um, yeah. um, celery. So I'm cooking yeah. the celery, so I've mm. peeled it, it's nice and tender and packed for the flavour. Similar to asparagus. Okay, and it's really important to strip all, all, all the outside away. Absolutely. Okay Absolutely. guys, so many of us don't do that and the bits get in your teeth and you know, I've, met, I've met so many people who say, I don't like celery just because of that reason. Take all this off, as Tony has done. Look at that, you strip it all down. It's just the outside, and it makes all the difference. And you can use it as Christmas decorations afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you can it on the tree. Or wear his earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. I think you found the perfect part. I think you? I might have, Priscilla. Yes, you yes, really yes. have. I, who would have thought that at my age this mm. role would come along? Because mm. I've never worked outside of Australia, so mm -hmm. suddenly I've, I'm in this musical playing a woman mm -hmm. that's taking me around the world. So oh, people who've never seen me before think this is all I can do. That's it's a big quite challenge. extraordinary. Yes. Now tell us, uh, uh, how how did you get the part? Because originally you were doing this in Australia. Yes. How I've... come it transferred over there? Well, I've been doing this for three years, mm. this show now, and I was lucky enough that when the show moved, I was the, uh, the one person that they brought over. Yeah. Um, because um, I think it was a hard call. It, it helps not having an established star in the mm. role, because people come in with a preconceived idea and go, oh, no, that's a fella in a frock. Absolutely. But if they don't yeah. actually know who you are, it, the audience suspends wow. its disbelief, I think. And How they... interesting is that? It's so yeah, true, they that, go on it? the journey with yeah, you, and yeah. they go, all right, because... Um, mm. And I um, have a big sort of love affair in the show. And if the oh. audience believes you're a woman, then they don't giggle, they don't snicker, they go. Clive, oh, is that right? Do, do, you, do you have to snog or anything like that? Um, no, not, not on yeah, stage. Yeah, but no tongues. <laughs> no tongues. <laughs> what, what was uh, life like for you growing up? I mean, you, you were part of a. I don't know what's going on down there. Yeah, let's not ask. Now, you were part of a theatrical family, weren't you? You started from a very, very young age. Yes. And was it the original kind of Australian vaudeville, would you say? Yes, yes. Um, the, the Tivoli Circuit, which was mm. variety. And uh, my grandparents were comedians. And mm. my mother was Tommy Trinder's leading lady, yeah. would you oh, believe, wow. in Australia? Wow. Yeah. Before I was born, yes. Yeah. And my dad was a dancer, he was in Pajama Game, and, and uh, my mum is still a, a musical theatre star in Australia. So, uh, yes, it's a dynasty, it's, it's dynasty. the family business. And do you miss it, do you miss your, 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 you know, the roots are back, back in Australia? Because first no, time away. No, well, not really, because this is my first time mm. working overseas, and particularly in England, so I'm, I'm exploring. It's a whole mm. new, new thing. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, about nine minutes to go, guys, just under that. Okay, let's leave them to get on with it sometimes when there's. The chef gives okay, you that metaphoric up. kick. It means go away for a bit, so you've got to let them get on with it. Hey, so all right, then, bg.co.uk forward slash food, all the recipes, whether in the red kitchen or the green kitchen, they're there today for you guys. And check it out. Hey, you've got fresh pasta being made down here. How are you doing? And look at this. Absolutely mm. brilliant. The, the right amount of elasticity well, in there, you think? Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Well, I'm going to... What do you mean, hopefully? Of course, absolutely. You know, absolutely. So perfect, perfect. This is me showing off. Now, look. Tony!
You're losing love, guys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> early days yet, Clyde, early yeah. days. <laughs> Oh, lovely, really lovely. Right. OK, pasta being cooked. Gino, are you calling me to show me something? Uh, yes, I want to show you how Clive was made in the pasta. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I made the sauce very quickly. We're going to serve this one with extra virgin olive oil, onions and peppers, OK? That's it. Simple, because pasta has to be kept simple. A lot of people, they put creams and stuff like that. Yeah. Keep it simple and fresh. OK. Salt and pepper are done. See what he's doing over there? OK, look at this, cutting up beautifully. All right, then. Plenty well, flour in there. Yeah. So how, how many times a month would you make pasta? Oh gosh, uh, not many. No, <laughs> no I've done. I've only done it about three times, to be honest. Oh, with you. It's fantastic. You can, you know, I was just trying to get a gauge, you know, because you, you're actually doing this very, very well. Well, you, you know what it is? I love cooking. I mm -hmm. absolutely love cooking. Um, and I, I was. It, I think men got interested in cooking through, um, apart from Gino, of course. Yeah. Hey, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Hey, very nice. Bravo! There you go. Same in there, yeah. 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 Probably in there, we'll just um, over it. It's big tagliatelle. Um, <laughs> no, this yeah. in Italy they call pappardelle. Yeah. Pappardelle. You know, the large one. Oh, yeah. Tagliatelle yeah. is the thin one, and then the pappardelle. Uh, I've got a twin brother, who funny yeah. enough lives in Australia. And we got into um, Delia Smith's yeah. original cookbook, mm -hmm. which I now kind of use as, as my Bible. Yeah, it's in a way, guide. just the basic yeah. thing, guys. Yeah. And I just love experimenting. I just love cooking so much. And also... Are you cooking this food too for oh, your yeah. wife? Oh, so you, you're both sort of back okay. and forward. What's she going to say? She cooks the Pasta is right? ready. Yeah. Okay. Very important that as the water is boiling, the pasta goes straight in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember, guys, the secret now, we're going to pick up the pasta. Pasta goes into the sauce. Never sauce goes on top of the pasta. Okay? okay. So you need to mix that. everything together. Very important. Yeah. The chef speaks. So if you can get me a chopping board Sit. and chop some uh, uh, parsley very, very fine. Uh, okay, please. we'll grab hold a bit of parsley for you, chef. Pop that down there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got about five minutes to go. What you don't realise is this man has stripped off with Piers Brosnan. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what was underneath? Tell us more, Clive. No, what happened? I, was doing a play. I did used to do quite a few plays uh, when I was younger with Piers when we started. And we were doing a play called uh, The Changing Room by David mm -hmm. Story. It's a wonderful play about rugby players. Mm -hmm. The first half is that they come into the changing room, they get changed for the rugby. And the second half is when they come out of the shower yeah. after the match. Well, we used to rehearse in this uh, rehearsal room where it was glass on all sides, and there was a rehearsal room there and a rehearsal on the other side. And we didn't get um, stripped off at the rehearsal for ages until the end. The director said, come on, guys, it's time. Got to do it. Got to reveal it so all. So that day came up, and so there we were. We all stripped off starkers. But what we didn't know is on the opposite side mm. of the glass where there was a women's institute meeting. <laughs> and all of a sudden we heard, bang, 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 ah, bang, bang, bang. We looked over, all starkers, including Piers. We're looking at all these women just going, ah. But you know, not one of them left. Not one. <laughs> And do you know, well, the funny thing, you think that they were seeing a future 007's, you know, um, <laughs> credentials, credentials, yeah. <laughs> License to thrill. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. More parsley put into a bowl. Uh, okay. Gina, Gina, what are you throwing now, with here? What do we need to do? It's very important at this point to check that the uh, pasta is al dente. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, guys, the only way to do it yeah. is to try. Don't, you know, don't follow in the instruction on the packet all the time. Just pick up some of the pasta, bite it, and see if you have the bite that you want. Mm. Oh, oh, fantastic. He you knows having a great lesson uh, uh, with the audience and with Clive, too. Okay. Finding out all sorts of interesting things, aren't we, about pasta. OK, about three minutes to go. Let's get back down here and concentrate on what Chef Richard Phillips has come up with. Great, great cassoulet there, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the, the beautiful uh, beans that you've just put down, Chef. Yeah. How are they going to feature? Um, they're going to feature underneath the, uh, the chicken thigh, which I wrapped in the Parma ham. Mm. Oh, wow. Let's show you this deep fried egg here, eh? Okay, yeah. So we, we I want to see it that. eight minutes in boiling water, just like you would normally do with a hard boiled egg. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk and work, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, so then what I've done is we then peeled it, yeah. wrapped it in breadcrumbs, panned it, like a classic pane, oh, just flour, that. milk, and then the flour, yeah. again, then I've put breadcrumbs around it. Put it back in there, Chef. Okay, yes, that's looking really, really and good. I'm, it's a great start to me because I've made a, a, a thank you, Tony. Yeah, and what have you been doing then, Tony? Are you enjoying this? I'm having a wonderful time. Yeah. Oh, it's good to have you here. We really, a, um, really good. A really nice lemon butter mm. sauce here mm. from the uh, juices that we cooked our celery in. Yeah. Okay, deep fried egg goes there. Then we have some lovely leaves. 
and in this lemon butter sauce. Okay, a couple of minutes to go. Two, uh, a Two minutes to go. Wonderful yeah. starter. Anything for Tony to do? Yeah, if he can just pick me some chive tips. It's the long.